Hey everyone, and welcome back to another YouTube video showcasing more of the Pico CTF 2022 Capture the Flag. In the last video, we got to do some more inspecting HTML in a web exploitation category. We're really just kind of uncovering, hey, what other JavaScript client-side code could be visible to us, and maybe we spent way too much time trying to understand things and fumble around, but we had some fun, and hopefully we're gonna have even more fun in this video. So let's get back to it. I'll move over to my computer screen here where I have the Pico CTF 22 game open, and we are moving on into a forensics category challenge called Looky Here. I'm assuming, hey, looky here, um, and there's a key reference in it. It says, hey, attackers have hidden hidden information in a very large mass of data in the past. Maybe they're still doing it. You can download the data here. And I note the tag on here, okay, that looks like it's using the grep command line. So uh, maybe this is going to be another quick and easy one here for us. Let's move into that forensics directory that we have created. We have a couple completed files or challenges in here, but uh, let's make a new directory for looky here. Move in there and we can w get to download this file. There we go. Now we have an anthem.flag.txt present. Let's cat this out, and okay, there is a lot of text in here, but let me try and open this up in a text editor like Sublime Text. Um, apparently, it's not called flag.txt, right? It is called anthem.flag.txt. My Z shell autocomplete failed me. <laughs> and yeah, you could probably see by the right-hand side, this is a pretty lengthy file. Um, we could, hey, scrolling down, look, this is about 2,000 lines, and it looks like it's a big old book, or kind of a big text, right? Okay, part one, part two, anthem by this individual. What we really need to end up doing is finding the flag, as you know. Uh, because we're in our text editor, we could use something like, hey, cheesy control F. Um, let me control F for Pico CTF. Super easy, that works just fine for us. But hey, we know the challenge is intending us to use grep, that command line utility that we've played with in the past to be able to find an occurrence of a pattern within a file. Grep for that GNU regular expressions parsing, processing, pattern, whatever. We could use grep. And if you haven't checked out the man page for that, you absolutely should. Uh, you absolutely should. I can't talk. And you don't have to just cat input into it through a pipe. You don't have to like, hey, give it new stuff through the standard output stream into the standard input of the program. You can just pass the file right along to it if you wanted to. You would have to just pass it as another argument. So again, if we wanted to grep for Pico, passing the argument along, you would give it anthem flag.txt. And you could find exactly that line. But if we wanted only Pico, that's when we use that tack O, nice, but we want to grab everything inside of this flag format, hence the curly braces. That is why you repeatedly see us using this extended or capital E for extended regular expressions. That way we can specify, hey, I want the full Pico CTF string, and inside of these curly braces, I want to match anything, that period character to refer to anything within regular expressions, and that star to mean as many as possible of whatever came previously, which was anything. We use a, quote, a question mark just following it to make that a lazy search. So that way we will only grab up to the very first closing curly brace and that will return exactly the flag there for us. Uh, I like to use color equals none so that way we don't have that bright red bloody thing in front of us. And that is how we can get the flag so we can save that solution and finish this and call that challenge done. So very, very easy, very, very fundamental. Honestly, not a whole lot of forensics to that. Just, I guess, a, a control F or a find functionality. Submit that flag and we are done. Another 100 points on the board. Um, I... We're cruising along. Again, not sure if this is really one worth <laughs> uploading, but for the sake of posterity, for completion's sake, let's keep all these videos going. And I hope you're enjoying these. I hope they are, hey, maybe teaching you something new. If you are new to this whole world of Capture the Flag, or if you're just getting started in Pico CTF, maybe these can still walk you through it, guide you, hold your hand a little bit, and I hope there's some good learning that comes from that. So if you enjoy these, please do all those YouTube algorithm things. That way, hey, these videos could reach more people to help them learn and get into cybersecurity. So do those YouTube algorithm things. Like the video, comment, subscribe. Super duper helps the channel grow. Everything that is a benefit to us and you and the community. All right, I'm done rambling. <laughs> Thanks so much for chatting, everybody. I love you. I'll see you in the next video.
Take care.